Huss. Unique fashion. Huss. Elam Road. Huss. Shout out to my Huss. boy E. Keep it going. Huss. This for you, boy. Huss. Boy, I got a unique Huss. I had to get it out the mud. I Huss. I ain't waiting on shit. I Huss. Everything I get. I Huss. I grind all the time. I Huss. Money on my mind. I Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the official Miss Jamaica. You already know. What? <laughs> check it, man. Hey, man, we in here, man. We got a man. I'm in front of two beautiful ladies, man. I'm doing my thing today. I'm gonna just let y'all in on a little secret, nigga. I'm I'm over here having a good time. Hey, man. So when I had first, uh, I was talking about the best rappers in East Texas. Let's go and get it popping. Mm -hmm. And some names came up. And, and when the names came up, this young lady, I don't know, she just came straight across the screen. People were like, oh, yeah, you need to get with this one. I say, really? Say, man, look out, man. Smith Hawk is in the building. What's going on, baby? What's up? I'm good. How you doing? Man, I'm doing good now. Oh, I'm doing good now. That's what we like to hear. So, man... <laughs> Listen, man, how long you been in the game, man? Um, I've been rapping three years. I've been taking it serious for the last two. Well, I'm trying, I was looking for stuff on you, and I couldn't really just, every time I look, it's like, where's the stuff at? I know, right? But I know already you've been working. I've seen some ciphers, and I heard the lyrics, and it don't, it's seasoned. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to figure out what, so, so is it something happened, or was it, is it, is it that you just putting out just, are you revamping everything? What's going on? Yeah, I'm rebranding myself. I mean, I have my two um, my two freestyle videos that's still up, but um, oh I took out. No, go ahead. Oh, I took out all um, the old stuff, and you know, cause you know, working with new people, and I just want my sound to be good when you hear me, and stuff like that. So yeah, I just wanted to you know rebrand myself, come back a little better and more cleaner, and you know, more precise. Well, let's back it up a little bit. And I always do this. Let's uh, let, just kind of let's go back into who you are, where you're from. Um, let's let's start. Let's start right there. OK, well, I'm Smitty Hawkins. I'm from East Texas, Damn um, right. originally from Lone Star, but uh, I reside in Longview, Texas. So I get love from Lone Star and Longview. Um, yeah. I read Long East Star. Texas. Yeah. You know, look Long Star and, Steel. Up there where I used yeah. to we, we got bread yeah. and everything behind Long Star Steel, man. Stop <laughs> playing. Papa worked there. Where's that? Your papa worked there. Mm -hmm. My homeboy Mickey. Shout what? out Mickey Shepard. What's up, baby? Um, uh, that's that's stuff? down there where they be laying niggas off all the time. You know, niggas gonna get a layoff every time you go down there. You get a job. Next thing you know, you at the house. But they pay you good when you're there. Mm -mm. Am I right now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've been. I'm see. I'm from East Texas. Oh, real yeah, talk. I, know, I heard. Yeah. So and everything that's coming out of East Texas gonna rip right through here. Ain't no games. You know what I'm saying? We it's love right here. I'm an East Texas hardhead. Everything I do come from there. We all we got, man. So we got to handle up. So this Lone Star Steel thing got you stuttered. Okay. I mean, it's a steel plant, right? And okay. basically How you... Is it Longview? No, Lone Star. Nope. Oh, that's the name It's around. Yeah, it's right there. It's in the vicinity. Longview, Jefferson, all that. It's right okay. in... It's mm -hmm. right in the... Uh, you been through there. Diana. She just don't know it. She been through there. Oh, yeah. You know, it all start coming together on you. You don't, mm -hmm. <laughs> you riding down through there and don't even realize you don't went through the city. Okay. It's a small little pop. Small. Very small. Yeah, yeah. You go through Hallsville and all that. I take you through all them back roads all the time down there. 2208, yeah. So you, you done love, been, she don't know. So you love East Texas. Ha have you ever thought about moving to Dallas? No. Um, ooh, ooh, well, ooh. I have thought about moving to Dallas, but I'm I'm leaning I'm leaning more towards Houston. No, nah, I better not do it. Really? Uh, uh. -uh mm -hmm. Don't get lost in the sauce. Um, we need I don't you. I want to be in East Texas. P <laughs> Listen, See, I'm down saying it. Don't want to be down there. Think about. I'm going to still rap it heavily. No, no, I'm know. not saying I, I get it, but I'm just saying think about it. Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, Atlanta. You know, okay, you can so do a me, lot of stuff, right? So let me ask why. Houston over Dallas. Music wise, Houston over Dallas. And when I look at my um, my percentages and that's ratings who, and stuff, that's that's, that's more that's where more lenient to oh, Houston. Okay, got you. So mm -hmm. the analytics pretty much show that you that's Houston where you, and Dallas are the top. Top. Dallas Fort Worth and Houston are the but top. But Houston is out of And Longview is at the bottom. 
So that's why I'm like, yeah. yeah but a prophet yeah. is without honor in yeah. his own country, baby. Listen, that ain't that ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just telling you, they won't. They they I won't. Shout they, out East Texas and they get they shout out. Yeah, but they they you know when you're at home, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of hate come from people because they see you doing something that they want to be doing, and they, and they scale themselves off I just for you. See them win. Yeah, I know that, but they you already winning in their eyes. So they like, dang man, why she get to go? Mm, you have, you remember when you was a kid and 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 and, <laughs> and the parent take one of the kids and and mm-hmm. the other one be there and they ask the same question, mm-hmm. why did why why they taking him? They, they want to go, so they just see you and they just want to be where you at a lot of time. I'm being real, and they trying to trick you out your spot. Probably you got to watch these niggas. They're witches. Yeah, yeah. Woo. <laughs> they worshiping. They worshiping to try to get you out of there. Huh? They probably is. I ain't. But I, I mean, do you do, you got to be getting some love? Because when I hear, hear it, I, is it just straight the fact that you dropping like that so hard that they can't deny it? Because when I talk to people down there, they put you in that number one spot. It's the older people that you're talking about. And I don't really? really so I the young you're, folks you're getting, don't do that. Not not too much, or they see somebody that they know do it, and they just do it, just piggy bank off of that type stuff. Because I mean, I've been doing it. I, I mean. I'm t- I was the type of artist where I only tag like 12 people. I never was the type to tag 30 to 90 people. Like, if it's going to get shares, it's going to get shares. If you yeah. share it, you share it. Like, I ain't going to beg you to do this or beg you to do that because, I mean, if you, you if you don't like it, you don't like it. Shit, it's a lot of main artist stuff that people don't like, and I don't want to force you to like something that you don't like. But, I mean, mm, I just... Now that like stuff be and I'm I'm if don't nobody else support me or promote me I know she gonna promote me he gonna promote me and I'm gonna promote me type shit so like yeah I don't really too much every everything <laughs> that I've done I've been doing by myself as is so yeah. I really don't like mm. but you'd be surprised about people in front of your face a lot of people will seem to be hating like they're not gonna congratulate you they're not gonna you know give you big props but behind your back talking to other people. They probably are talking good stuff about you, but they just don't want to. Some people say they don't want to give you a big head, so they're not going to be trying to tell you. To well, that's face. hypocrisy. How have you say that word? Hip- no, 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 no. They're hypocrites. Because, you have a lot because of I feel who like do that. I feel like don't don't do that. Don't don't. don't I don't play. know. Well, I don't, I try not to think of that. Really, right. I try not to even think about who supports me or not and who don't. Because if you're going to do it, you're going to do it. So, like, I just want to make good music, man. I, That's hey, all you should do. I love the music, too. I li- What I did find, I loved, you know, like the Cyphers. And it was one more song, girl. Let me tell you what that song was. Cause I've been in here banging that whole, banging it. Really? I mean, in my, yeah, all morning. He, oh, my goodness. It. That is Yeah, funny. that whole go hard, too. You pitting, talking about the pitting pitting straight, straight in. in. Oh, Lord. That that's right the, it's there. a video to that one. I seen it. Yeah, <laughs> I was all through there. I didn't know what was going on. I was mesmerized. They thought I'm I was in screaming. Africa. You know, <laughs> not, not motherland. Yeah, you took me there. Nah, I'm just being real. You that's did your cool. thing, man. Thank you. I appreciate and that. And the lyrics on point. The cadence Thank right. You. And, I, you know, because I'm, I'm I'm a critic now. Yeah. You know, and I've I seen what you've done, man. I, I love it, to be honest with you. I'm just, you Thank know. You. It's the, appreciated. Oh, it's, it's something else. And because and I had... You know, I had Smoothie on here the other day, and mm-hmm. y'all two of the two that they told me was the number one spot holders down Shout there. Shout out to him, man. Smoothie, my nigga. That nigga just pulled up on me and just did his thing right here just like y'all did. But it didn't take long. I'm like, nigga, where you at? He's like, I'm on my way. Never knew me before that. But now it's type shit. Now we talk every day. As you should. <laughs> it's like, I mean, damn, this real. nigga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just sometimes you click with people yeah. like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and you don't see it coming, but it's like, damn. Hey, Unc, this. I'm like, what the hell? All these young niggas, though. I, I be, yeah, we be talking. Like, it goes down. And that's that's because it's love. They know it's mm-hmm. genuine love. Mm-hmm. And and so that's what you got to have. You can't be hating and you can't be. And I'm trying to find a way to bridge. Why you and Smoothie ain't did nothing together? Um, Y'all both got the number one spot according to the people that I done talked to. I'm screaming. Yeah, uh, I put it all the way out there. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. Would Y'all you, need to link up do you want for East Texas. I mean, it could. Smoothie, I'm going to hit you up after I give it to the interview, boy. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. He ain't hard to find. <laughs> I know it. Nah, me and him cool. Like, yeah. we got each other numbers. Like, me and him uh, talking yeah. shit like that. When it's is just, it going to happen? I don't know. That's I'm, what I'm, I'm trying to figure project. out. I'm trying to finish my project right now. I feel like once I finish you my then project, you can walk I'll be out. able to work with other people, vice versa. So, you ain't working with nobody? Not really. Mm-mm. You had not did no. Have you did features? I seen one feature, didn't I? Have you featured with anybody? Um. It'd I think stu- I did be, see it. It be stuff with that, so there's some just say nobody because nobody. Yeah, it just it ain't worth talking about. 
Mm-mm, that ain't well, let me go back to that song you were talking about. Where did the inspiration of that song come from? And in the video, video more than anything. I love the video. It's like <laughs> that was like my personality. That's like that was like a personality song. I said it was like my first time ever like getting in the booth and just freestyling because mm-hmm. I'm not even I'm not even a freestyler, but that was pretty cool. I got into my little mode and I did that. And I don't know, like I love chicken. <laughs> you like that face. Popeyes or which one you like? That was uh, that was another uh, little spot down there. Yeah, down there. But my favorite chicken is Southern Classic. Southern Classic in Shreveport. I, I think I done ate it. I think I done ate it. On Hollywood. You like that better than Popeyes? What? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. She's yeah. gonna yeah. show up. Need like. we? You know we'll pull up. Girl, yes, ma'am. I get two rolls every time. Diddy <laughs> on Hollywood. <laughs> I know. We thank the Lord for them every time. We vlog every time we go there. Really? I I had this guy take over TV yesterday on here, and I was asking about y'all. He real cool. Same thing. Smoothie and Smitty. They, they, you know, they, everybody agreeing. It is the bloggers is talking about it. I, I asked know. that question to Trill Talk. No pill talk. Smitty and Smoothie. I said, okay. So that's it. It is what it is. I'm going by what they telling me. I'm not, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I ain't just listening to everybody down there, but if y'all got a problem with it, step your game up. You know what I'm talking about? They're going to have to, they're going to have to come on with it. You know, if y'all doing y'all thing, y'all putting the work out there, ain't, not, ain't enough said. Amen. Yeah. Don't <laughs> girl me. But they should use them as your own it's motivation. Right. They should use them as motivation. That's showing right. that, you know, you can get somewhere, even although you're from East Texas, you're moving up. Like, they're from there too. They should be able to say, okay, if they can do it, I can do it too. Right. They should be able to, but it, I realized that everybody ain't got the same mindset mm. like some mm. people. So, I mean, sh- Do you feel like if you was not in East Texas and you was somewhere else that you'd have been in popped? No, because if that was place was my hometown, it's the same thing. It's always hometown. Your hometown be the last to jump on. Mm. So okay. It don't matter where I was. If I'm starting in my hometown, like they're going to be the last to love you. Okay. They're gonna be the okay. last to root for you when they see this stuff popping out. It's like they secretly, they silently want to do it, but they really don't want to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I don't give a no, fuck. fuck. I know you don't care. You, I, yeah, you can't care. You can't care. You can't get caught true. up in emotions when it comes down to what we're doing here. Mm-hmm. What is for you is gonna be for you anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean, um, the thing I, I always, I always look at the female artists, man. It's a lane right now, wide open for y'all. I mean, it, you, it didn't used to be that way. Mm-hmm. You when I was younger, it was hard for a female to break anyway. But with the internet the way it is, I think it's gonna open some doors up that people can't control. Mm-hmm. And the people, the masses see you, mm-hmm. and they going they gonna pick. I love the internet because it kind of tell you what you are, who you are. It really it don't play with you. Yeah, it's straight up say, hey, Smith Hawkins, this is who you are, and you gotta live with that. Mm-hmm. Either you can do it, get better, or you can decline. And mm-hmm. but they gonna speak. The mass is gonna tell you who you are just by what you putting out and the way that you kind of controlling your whole situation. Am I right? Yeah, but I'm narrating my own story. So no, no, I get it. Mm-hmm, so what they seeing is is what they what, what you they give. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And the reason I say that is because you look at the numbers, the way that they the engagement and all the stuff that's going on, and it's something that you got to take notice to because there's there's money in it. Mm-hmm. We just had old boy Prince on here, and they they doing the the the, the TikTok thing. Him and Lil Run in them, and they focused on trying to make sure that stuff is right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I like like I asked him, well, have you mastered articulating the way that you move inside of TikTok or inside? What's that other one he told us Likey. about? Likey, all these different little. I don't pla- even know what that. I means. didn't either. The nigga put me on. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, you gotta you get make, on there. You can make some good off of that. Yeah, because everybody mm-hmm. on there and they be engaging and they it, they be going live. She, the, the little uh, unique yesterday went live the whole time she was here on Likey, and mm-hmm. it's so and yeah. And they be getting paid. And they be getting paid. They got a monetary thing going on with it, so you gotta definitely get it. Shout out to that boy, man. He oh, be wow. putting me up on game on this little old, you know the so the, the social media platform. Mm-hmm. You know I'm. I'm from MySpace, nigga. Okay. Hell, I ain't. I'm from East Texas. We MySpace. My that blew. Story. Yeah, yeah. Blew me up. I didn't know what was going on. That blew me up. Okay. <laughs> MySpace. So, what is it? What I mean, what's next for you? You say you're working on a project. Yeah. When is the project set to come out? Um, possibly around May. May. Um, right now we're gonna get ready to shoot the video to my single that we've been pushing and it's been getting radio play and satellite play as well. Um, it's called Let Me See It. That was also produced I seen by that. Sergeant I J. listened to that this morning. Thank you. Yeah, let me see it. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. So 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 what inspired that? Let's talk about it. You brought it up. Oh, what inspired it? I don't know. I'm a 
I love to dance. I'm a ratchet hoe at heart. When okay. It comes to okay. Like, like in the club, like I love to hear a good, you know. So I don't know, man. I just I heard the beat and I was like, yeah, that's me. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's a big booty. And like everybody know, I've been saying that's a big booty for years. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like the ultimate hype man when it comes to like hyping girls up when they dancing and stuff. So I'll just hype my own stuff up on the song. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's been getting you the buzz. <laughs> that's what's been so, doing the job. So are you, uh, okay, Lone Star. Lone Star. When I get ready to go to the grocery store, where do I go? You go to I'm, t- I'm trying to go to the big store, ain't you? She either go on a spring or crumps. It okay. Ain't that much you can go to. That's what I'm saying. But That's yeah, in Dangerfield. There it is. I was trying to get to. You running up to Dangerfield to get you something to eat. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm from I'm from down there in mm-hmm. Smithland and Gas Center, and Jefferson. Mm-hmm. I got to go to Marshall. I got to go up to uh, Jefferson to try to go by Brookshire. We real small. Mm-hmm. So I I know if you're in Lone Star, it's a place where you got to go. Mm-hmm. You know, it ain't just right there. And that's what I love about the country, see. I don't want a nigga close up on me anyway. I hated New York. I Anytime love the I country, go, but I hate the country because of that. Because you oh, have to drive so go. far. I love. To get, it. I'm like, man, if you get forget, you a good if you car. Get some milk. <laughs> you gotta turn around and go back. Mm. I, yeah, I bang out all the way up there. Nigga got some speakers in there. I'm a love to ride. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm gonna be real. I got my little blunt. See what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> she gonna drive and roll and do what she gotta do. So let me let me ask you this. Um, and I always ask this, little girl. She young. Probably about 13, 14, she want to rap. What would you tell her? How would you tell her? That she, what, she, what would you tell her she needed to do? Because you done did some things in the game that she trying to do. Oh, I would just tell her, like, never let what anyone has to say about you or to you, about your work ethic or whatever you're doing. Make you put your head down, whether it's good or bad. It's a sign of weakness and defeat. Mm-hmm. Um, I just say that to learn from it because – no one, everybody not out to get you. Like they, if you really want to take something serious, like you're gonna get critiques. Everybody not gonna like. Everybody's not going to like what you're doing. Mm. So if you can't take constructive criticism, then your heart's not really in the right place. So I just feel like yeah, learn from whatever you can because it really is hard. Just like just just oh, I just want to rap, and you a girl, and you don't know the business side. Or you don't know um, the you know the engineering side or or the the funny business with the these lame ass niggas and record and motherfucking producers and engineers and stuff like that. Like don't just be so quick to like take 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 or receive mm-hmm. anything. Just yeah, cause the, it's it's got to be tough on you, especially when you, when you're looking good and these niggas they 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 get way unprofessional in the midst of they supposed to be being professional. Mm. I know you done seen it. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, these niggas going to try. Yeah, they going to try. And and the thing I could say is, because I heard some stories, you know, you know, mm-hmm. we just heard some crazy stories about some major people who be trying to catch people up as far as, you know, basically do this for me and I'll do that for you. Mm-mm. Oh, yeah. It goes down like I'm that. I'm already knowing. That's what they do. Yeah. So, I and, and, and I couldn't believe how much it goes on. So, I apologize to you. For my five people acting a fool because that don't make no sense. You know okay. what I'm saying? Because I rather scroll. Because you're talented doors. anyway. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, but you know I'm telling the truth. This mm-hmm. is what's going on, and I, That's I what really, do. I don't like that. They do that to hold they females bold. down. They, they bold, mm-hmm. and they almost like okay, if this proposition don't. It'd be the audacity for me because bitch, I don't give a fuck who you didn't work with. The fuck? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I don't care if I want to show my ass 24, 50 million, 75,000 yeah. times. Bitch, yeah. they don't give you no right to even approach me even like that. think that you can, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, don't even do that. Like, yeah, no, I get it, Smitty, man. I'm, disrespectful. I'm, but I know, and I'm finding that out more as I keep interviewing the girls. It's like, whoa, are you serious? They be like, yeah, he, look at this text. I'm like, are you serious? Yeah. I'm like, this is a major nigga. He did that? Yeah, and it throws me off. I just don't get it. I don't get it because I guess because I live by a different code. Mm-hmm. But let me ask Being you a question. And it's when different for the men in the industry and the girls. That's what I'm talking about. That. That's right. what I'm talking but about. As a female, when you get um, struck with something like that, and these are people who are standing in your way to success, how do you deal with that? Do you be like, okay, is there a way around that, or you just give up, or what do you do? I just don't even do business with that person. If I if it if it is something like then money talks. So I'm gonna just say, how much do you charge for your your services? How much is this beat? How much is your? No, your beat spot? don't cost nothing, nigga. I just need you to drop out. 
I'm just no. telling you how how it go down. No, I know what you're saying. So that's saying this is this will be like my, my response if we <laughs> yeah, text and shit. Like I'll be like, oh no, here we go. <laughs> we ain't doing that, man. Now nah, then, I'm. I mean, you just don't respond. It's, I got a, a, a plenty of other people in my motherfucking. That you can Gmail that wanna else. that's willingly sending me beats and shit and beat packages. Boy, fuck you and that puss ass. <laughs> like, don't even do that. But that's real though. I I like I like being real. I like to see. I like to because the people need to hear this stuff because somebody may hear you say that and say that's that they give them encouragement. Yeah, that they're not to be able to, to deal up. with that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. she she just says she sidestep like oh, I ain't got even got time for it. But yeah. some females get that and then give up because. They might go to that one person and get that same thing, and then okay, next I'm person gonna do the same thing. Do the same thing, and keep on getting that response. They'll be like, "Man, I can't do this." It's like you finding a real job, though. You're not gonna find whatever you want to. It come to you. Did I say that right? No, I did not say that right. <laughs> Let's do it again. I think I said that wrong. He come said on back, <laughs> back that thing up. That's funny. Remix it. Bring it back. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm just saying, like, that's like you keep going to a different profession, profession. Okay, you know how people keep finding, like, their career in college and shit. Like, you keep jumping from profession, 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 mm-hmm. till you find your right one. You're going to jump from one producer, one engineer, till you find that right producer, right engineer that's there for you. Wants yeah. to work with you, that don't give a fuck about titties. And, nah, you're going to find that one engineer to be like, uh, pussy don't, in your talent. Yeah, pussy don't pay for studio time, baby. You're going to have to pay for this. Exactly. Don't buy no one hour studio time with me. You're going to have to come do so, yeah. like, it's some it's some engineers out there like that. Like you're gonna you run into bullshit them more too, right? until you run into something real. that's like you know more that works with you that works better. Like that's that's real. That's for you. Yeah. That's real. So how long have you been rapping? Since three years. Been? For three years. I've been three. taking it seriously. Ooh, for two years. For two years. So you've always wanted to be a rapper when you were a kid, or you wanted to do something else? No, I actually I I talk a lot. I really wanted to be a lawyer because I'm right. And even when I'm wrong, I'm, like, I'm right. That's you too. You. Yeah. Yeah. It really, it was either. It started off as lawyer, like back then, back then. But then, as I was getting older, like I'm, I was a big English head, reading yeah. Yeah. language arts head. I wrote poetry before I okay. took rap serious, okay. and like so, like I wanted to do like either English teacher or I wanted to do like social work, anything with kids, because I love kids too. But then, like, do you have any kids? No, ma'am. Look how she looking. <laughs> you don't want no damn kids. That's for sure. I got to wait until I'm 30. Already. Already. Like 23 right now. Okay. Ain't trying you to hear young. it. I got to go. It's grind mode. I believe in abortion. Woo! She hit you with the Dougie right there. Don't you play with me. Don't understand. That day, but they, they don't that mean, day after, but I'm what, very is the like, morning after, is it the day oh, next day? The morning day pill. The morning day pill is going down. But I ain't no just life. Out here just like out here just like unprotected or anything yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. It's just like, don't play with me because... No, I'm not the one that's going to want to keep the baby. Well, is that the reason that you uh, shut the OnlyFans down? No, that's not why I <laughs> shut the OnlyFans down. Yeah, Quit, I man. had OnlyFans. I heard no. about that. That nigga sure. told me about that. I said, like, what's she doing on there? Say she show her toes on there. I say she get paid for it. Yeah, she no, better get them toes out. I'm screaming. Yeah, yeah. Put your whatever you got to do. Yes. You know, tell them see the nails. You know what I'm saying? To see what I'm saying? And then they're gonna pay for that. Mm-hmm. So why do you, why you shut it down if they you only showing? I, really, I was twerking as well too. Oh, there. you twerk a little bit on there. I talk. Is some old footage up? No. Yeah. I uh I stopped twerking on like all my social media. You don't like, twerk? No, I'm trying to tell you the game. Go ahead. I want to hear it. I, Everybody should be twerking. I try. I stopped twerking on all my social media because they love the people. Just love to see me twerk. Like either if I, if I ain't rolling the weed, I'm twerking type shit. That's what like people watch me do. So like I stopped doing it on social media and I started doing it on OnlyFans. I just start, I put a price on something I already did. Wow. So I was just twerking and like I was twerking in like lingerie and swimsuits. And I do that in videos, pin straight in. Or, Why'd you stop? Yeah, I like that. That's a nice video. Oh, thank you. you Why I stop uh, OnlyFans? Because I'm not consistent. I don't, I can't make no content and funny. shit like that to just. I got it. I got the money. I got the money that I needed. And yeah. I, it was gone. And that was just some play money. And, and, and even then, like, I used that money to put in. T- Two classes worth of another job that I picked up mm-hmm. on. So I started making money off of that when mm. I learned out. Yeah. Made you some good bread off of it? Yeah, I started learning how to do locks. Locks. Is that, locks isn't that what the old girl said she do? Yeah, mm-hmm. y'all girls love to break that hair in. Because lock, lock no, that hair in. That's because good. Locks, locks, you make good money from make locks good money. right now. Mm-hmm. Everybody doing locks right now. Mm-hmm. And it's not cheap. 
And oh, I, I know it ain't cheap. I, I know it ain't cheap. I'm accepting any new clients. I don't even post when I do locks and accepting new clients because I don't have time. Yeah. Because I be working Monday through Friday. I get off of work to go to a photo shoot or some shit like that. If I ain't got a oh, photo so you shoot, have a regular job as well. Yes. I work at the uh, one of the doctor's offices in East Texas. Really? Mm-hmm. So, I'm very professional. I can switch over. Is it all white folks at that doctor's office? I mean, it's a couple of black. couple of niggas? Mm-hmm. Okay. So what I want to know, because a lot of okay, because we've interviewed a couple of females, and a lot of people feel like in order to take the music industry serious, they had to go ahead and quit their full-time job and just go head in to... Yeah. That's what. That's how anybody would feel in the, in, in the music ministry. Like, DJs feel like that shit photographers feel like that. I think anybody with a passion for what they want to do, um, you going to have to like let their one job go and so you can fully so invest. So how do you balance job. everything? Are you 100% into your rapping right now? Yes. But you still have a full-time job. Yes, and I still do locks and I still model. And I love so, it because that sounds like okay. me. Stop playing. I don't, I don't really just have an off day. I don't do, do that I either. Juice? Do I ever have an off day? I, I either he got my location or I'll be like, hey, I got a photo shoot. Me and her, we in the car, we gotta go. I get off of work to go to work. We That's switch the truth. wigs. We do like, yeah, so I don't really just You gonna you gonna get that money doing it like that. All that other stuff playing. Everybody stays stuff, oh I'm tired, oh I'm this. I get so sick of that. I do I you was would sleep never, up here. Listen, I was sleep on the way up here. That's why my never, make, my makeup would have been done, but I was so tired last night because I like last yesterday was like our first Saturday for the last like what five six months that like we had a free Saturday so like I she, I was I was tired like I needed the little the little rest and then like even when we got in the car like I slept the whole way here or I would have been up at like six o'clock at her house get my makeup done I still was up but she had put my wig on my head and I was like girl you got to do my makeup with the thing but I'm I can't do it and then driving oh I hate driving but now I ain't gotta drive you gotta drive <laughs> is your manager I know driving I'm, now I know I'm supposed to be rich you hear me yeah yeah no no ain't nothing wrong I'm with it you, you, got, chauffeur, you got a driver a clean up person yeah I don't blame yeah. you I feel the same way, so I can relate to that. Do you hear me? Yeah, damn right, I hear you. I'm the one. I'm. That's what I do. I already can't drive. Well, no, I can drive, <laughs> but I just I don't trust nobody driving. I got a big problem. I don't even trust the people we be right, even in Jamaica, especially in Jamaica. Like I don't trust people. At the end of the day, drive me around. Mm-hmm. I'm serious. I don't trust you with my life. I'm I'm real particular about that, and that's just probably cause. I just don't trust niggas. But then I do. I want. I want that. Like the like we got the facial and the pamping and all that the other day. That's cool. But a nigga really like to be in control. I really don't like to be having nobody. But that's different for a woman. Now I understand you saying, "Hey, drive me around," because that's what the big dogs do. I be tired. I done seen the big dogs roll, and I know how y'all roll. So, uh, so what you gonna do? How you gonna master <laughs> the driver and all that stuff? How you gonna do it? I be in the car with them now. So you done. I'm done. She go to sleep. I used to do that with dope fiends. Yeah, back in the day. That's how I would get around. I'm being real. I used to pick out the drivers. Do <laughs> you did? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you don't want you don't want to be seen and you ride with the people to hide. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I would hide. But it was comfortable. Like, dang, this is cool. I don't never drive no more. That's a different you feel. Get your drivers, okay? You yeah, 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 yeah. I'm never. getting my money too. I'm making them niggas pay. I'm back going. in the day, this is the way I did it. Like, you'd be low key, nigga. Where my money at? Like what? Yeah, called him. You didn't see me coming in dope being called. Nah, for real. <laughs> so how's it? I seen your uncles on the uh, on that video. Yeah, one of them. Yeah, I, of no, them. it was two. It was two guys there. Both I know, of them. But one of them is my. One of them, the guy with the beard. The that, one in the white, the big. One. Yeah, 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 yeah. So y'all got a pretty good relationship. Yeah, that's that's my. That's your dog. Man. Yeah. You love that nigga. <laughs> she smiles. Boy, that nigga, that good nigga, man. That's a good uncle right there. That's the nigga used to come out of his pocket, didn't he? Back in the day. Nah, he, he didn't he, give you nothing. Well, yeah, I had yeah, to you, work for it. Oh, he wasn't just okay. Uh, you he taught her right. He like, taught her right. He taught her right. I could tell you cup for him because you like my uncle. I'm like, damn, that nigga must be. He got a shout out. You yeah. know, <laughs> shit, I ain't had no he shout out. He was the out. first person I heard the serious when they played my stuff on serious. Yeah, he motherfucking Facetime and say. Bitch, I told you. <laughs> Bitch, I told you. I told these hoes and long motherfuckers long trying to doubt you. Bitch, you want serious shade forty five right now? Go, on, nigga. Go. On. You want shade forty five right Loving now? Loving it. That's yes, good, he damn man. Then they wanted to cry. No, no, that's he was real. he was one of the ones that was like, "Bitch, you need to. You out here trying to sell drugs. Bitch, you need to be rapping. The fuck." 
Oh yeah. You don't need to be, you know what I'm he saying? When they heard me rapping, they was like, Oh yeah, like she need to, yeah, you need to you need to rap. But then you know I went through like a depression moment. So like one of them years I like just was like, What the f- what am I doing? Like what am I doing? I did go through one of those. It broke me the fuck down too, but I realized that music is my LA. Like, okay, mm-hmm. I, I I make music like this is this is why I'm making music so I can you know express it and get it out. So I yeah. think I think the main thing I say is man, you got to keep going, man. People hear your music; uh, it is an outlet for like people. It's who, therapy. Yeah, it's very much therapy. So I mean, for you to been grinding like you have now you're trying to revamp, you're trying to do some of them engineers be like, damn, she think my engineering suck, took all the music down. I, I, it ain't got nothing to do with me. Just being real, like if I did the work, you know, mm-hmm. like what happened to all the damn music we worked together? But I can't believe it. I mean, I probably only had like two, two okay. songs of okay. anyway. So these niggas ain't they ain't gonna like. I thought about it when I think me and him was talking earlier. I was like, so where's the music at? Well, she ain't she redoing her stuff right now. So mm-hmm. I know how I am. Like okay, so before he took me serious, he was like, you gotta come, you gotta come with a a, a track. A record. No, no, no. You, no, no, you that's gotta, real. If you want me to take you serious, you got to come back and show me that you. Man. Woo, woo, woo. He right. That's Man. what Sir Charles Jones said the other night. Yeah, he told y'all nigga. He said, bring me $1,000 if you serious. And I came back with yeah. a record. Real talk. You came a back with a pack. Yeah, it got to be something. I gave him something he worked with. Clean awesome. version, dirty version. Like, yeah. And consistent wise, yeah, it was there too. I promote, I promote myself like a motherfucker. You working. You working? I see. I like to. I see your gram. Everything looking good. I mean, I see your numbers. I mean, I, people looking. So how you gonna keep, how you gonna build on that momentum? I'm gonna just keep going and keep doing it because, of course, I ain't, I ain't where I'm supposed to be. The video's right, but you gotta but we, keep going. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I gotta keep going. I just gotta keep. I gotta keep making music, man. Yeah. When Kanye made through the wire, I mean, Jay Z asked him. You know, what I'm saying he was like, "This is good, but." Uh, can you keep making them? Can you Type keep doing shit. it? Mm-hmm. That nigga worth six point six billion, so he damn sure keep going. So, man, I was thinking about it. Uh, yeah. So, so I mean, are you single? Yes, I'm single. What? Mm-hmm. Say you niggas in Dallas. She in Dallas, Texas today. You niggas better get out. You talking about? <laughs> she's single me. and she what love to mingle. What kind of guy do you like now? So our listeners are listening. I'm you know screaming. That? What right kind now. of guy do you like? Like you never I mean. Knows. The White right collar might be listening. Uh, weirdos, uh, thug niggas. I just like uh, what I, I like. What I like, thug man. niggas. So tell them who, what would you consider the perfect guy? Uh, I really don't even know y'all because I'm so used to just. I have like a routine. I don't really do relationships and no shit like that because. I ain't never been in love. I had no heartbreak. You ain't never been in love or had no heartbreak. I had my feelings hurt, but I know it wasn't like no. Big thing, because I bounced back the next day and was like, let me unblock this bitch. <laughs> a Somebody. real life. But I've never experienced that. And I'm 23, and I'm just like, ooh, Go I, I don't think I want to feel that. Like you 24, 25. And I'm like, I don't know. Because I seen how that shit look around me from... You know, my sisters and, you know, my mama and stuff like that. I'm like, I ain't trying to go through that. I'm a sensitive hoe, too. Mm-hmm. I'll be them broke down. <laughs> uh-uh. But now, nah, so it. I try not to do relationships and stuff like that. And then most of the time, like, I either get labeled like the homegirl. Yeah. Like a homegirl. Like, I got a cool love vibe and shit like that. And, oh, and, you know, and really, motherfuckers just don't want me because I show my ass so much, so... You you like you used to be fighting and stuff. You you beat up a couple girls down in the hood. I I think you I got my name. I, I got my name from my, not mine. I my, knew not it. My, I knew it. I name. knew it. Stomp down. But I got known for fighting because like I'm not from originally from Longview, so it was just me and yeah, my mom and Longview yeah. and stuff like. And I they used were to hating. Them hoes used to try to bully me in seventh grade year. They had me fucked up, bitch. I'm, my mom. <laughs> so what was, your, what was your nickname back then? What did they Kill call them. my name? It was just like Joy. My name is Joy. And okay. they like go try Joy. Like go- I just start I my name started like had a little you know, I started getting a little buzz because you know Joy used to fight or Big Booty Joy. You used to fight. Joy with the mole on the lip or some jo- shit like that. You used to fight. A killer. I didn't had a couple of fights. Yeah. So how did the name Smitty, Smitty Hawkins come about? 
Smitty is an acronym. Smitty stands for so much info to tell you. Nice. Wow. Hawkins nice. is a uh, you know it's it's a it's another alias alternate because I go by Smitty Hawkins, Smitty the Kitty, Smitty the motherfucking boss. Like I say, that already. You know it's different. So shout out Smitty, nigga. You know this going down, like man. I would never guess that was an acronym. I like it. I like, I it. like it's, it. It's gender neutral. It's right. you know Smitty. You know? Yeah. So. so but now. Uh, I think. I oh think yeah, I'm accepting. Oh yeah, I did tell. I'm accepting all trips and um. Wait a minute. Dates this year. <laughs> the hell is going on? I'm accepting all she trips. That went dates in this year. like. Okay, because I'm tired. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? Wait so a you're minute. Willing to date and all of that, but it's just... I date. I talked to. I talked to. I talked to. Yeah, they I talked to a right. nigga before you got on here. Was like, she fine as hell. Dog. Oh man, see that? I said really. Me. If it, if like, yeah, man, crazy, I say, I say, say yeah, she coming like, by to do the show. They say she, she fine as hell, though. They ain't <laughs> shit. <laughs> they is not shit. It be funny because people <laughs> who be in my inbox, they, they don't even be wanting that, man. Well, how can a nigga get in your inbox and then just get jiggy with it, like get a response? Shit. Let's go get some food. You see the me post all the time. Well, what about no, what? They got to take her to that um that chicken place down there that she likes. Shit, take me somewhere. Really? No, just say, hey, I'm really like, I'm really like, I'm really a cool person. Like, I'm really like, like down to earth and laid back. Like, if I could wear tights and shit all day. And you just, do it. And just not have to be so focused on the glam, like I would. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Mm. I get it. I get it. Cause, cause, see, everybody hear the song, and and when they hear the songs, and they they see the glam, they that's what they want. Period. Yeah. Yeah. And you ain't really even just fit to do that all day for them anyway. They gonna have to love you for you. You taking all this stuff. I'm fit to be just me. Yeah. Okay. They gotta love you for you. That's what I'm saying. Like if we, could, <laughs> if they ain't have to like, if that fruit shit ain't never happened, bitch. I'll be, be able to walk around Nick. <laughs> I'm talking about comfortable, bitch. If the fruit, hey, if it didn't happen, you would, I'd be naked too, dog. That's what I'm saying. Like, I hate clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but that's why I be, that's another thing. I'd be like, just because, like, my values and, and morals are different from yours don't, you know, don't mean that it's more or less their value than yours. Because just because, like, I be telling niggas, just like, I, I'm not mad that you, you can't date me or not want me because, you know, I do certain things or some, you know, some stuff. Not cool to you, but like that ain't gonna make me change from what I'm doing. Cause like I mean, I'm all about body positivity. Body positivity. I'm all about like loving yourself. It took me a lot. It took me a while to get here, bitch. You think I'm finna just like hold it down? What like? And you can't tell. And I hate them niggas that be like, ain't no nigga gonna love you out here, bitch. Tiana Taylor. Mm-hmm. Iman gonna post that bitch in lingerie or mm-hmm. a bikini and be like, mm-hmm. that's the apple of my eye. Like, what? You can't say a nigga not gonna love me when it's niggas out here who. Beyonce ass be half naked too. Like, it's just like, I feel like it's a problem because I don't have the. We don't. The only difference between me and them hoes is our bank account. That's the only thing different. So you, you have a say to make you. Like, you have a say or will you think you have a say to speak on that because I'm still in this like same area as you type shit but so they got me, me fucked up though so let me ask you a question you said that um at one point in your life you went through a depression state where you had to come back up from that do you mind elaborating on some of the things you went through and how did you overcome it for our listeners because you know you have people going going through the same stuff that you might have went through um yeah I was losing friends at that time and it was just like uh I don't it was it was bad because like I'm so used to being busy so like at one point like when I don't have anything to do because I keep myself busy when I don't have anything to do that's when everything just opens up and just I had I'd be able to have think about everything everything just flows down and just come on to me and then like it just hit me type shit like if I, that's why I have like faux jobs, so that's why I'm always busy, so I don't have to feel like all the other shit, like the the real shit that I be feeling like. Cause I did just recently get over like a little breakup too, and type shit like that. So like, if I'm if I'm not working, like I I had like a breakdown maybe like for the first time in like five months, like two weeks ago, like Tuesday, cause like. I ain't had no photo shoots. I was done with my real work at my job job. Like, I was done writing music. I was just literally just sitting there at the work, and I just broke the fuck down because I was like, oh, 
It happens. He don't love me no more. Yeah, you know, come on now. You know it happens. <laughs> I mean, me we no all more. go through those parts in yeah. life. You know what I mean? So I get it. But how but did you overcome it? You just started yeah. getting busy again? I just, I don't really just, I haven't just overcame like nothing. I just, yeah, I just snap focused back, back on snap, to, snap. to work like, oh, man, fuck this shit, man. It got me fucked up. Let me just... Let me go back to work. Let me let me ask you a question. I ask all my guests, man. Uh, top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Any, any genre, genre, I don't care. Let me hear it. Who's your f- number one? Lil Snoop. That's my nigga right there. Who's Lil Snoop? That's Meek Mills was his artist. He died. R.I.P. Lil Snoop. Rest in peace to a Darren Ross. Okay. Well, we were supposed to be together. I like that. Now number two. Damn, you catching me off guard. Damn, Nicki Minaj. Who, Nicki Minaj? You love? You want to meet her? First Nicki Minaj ever. First one first on the show. One. Nicki Minaj. That's a good one. I like it. Number mm-hmm. three. Cause she grind hard. Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates. I love We've your choices, man. I love it, man. I mean, so so little Snoop. What what made what made him your number one? It because you fell in love with him at he a young age. He made me want to rap. That nigga really? Was a storyteller, man. I used to just feel with him everything he was saying a lot of people like love his, that nigga his life like oh i was like bitch i've been through that so it's lil snoop Nicki minaj, Nicki minaj and, kevin, and gates. kevin gates kevin gates Nicki we've minaj. had him before we had kevin gates Nicki before. minaj is something else man she uh she kind of she that's the queen yeah but she she got it you got it you she the one you got to be have you got to pamper her like, you can tell she ain't trying to hear it. Nah, y'all just need to give her her motherfucking you know, you respect. you got to pamper her. Like, you're not for the you're not for the be kicking it with her. You gonna have to have everything centered toward her. Have. You kind of like a Nicki Minaj. Let's just go and say it. Mm. You kind of like that. Well, I take that as a compliment. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I see what's going on. I can see why. You know what I mean? You got it going on. I love me some Nicki <laughs> and Cash Dog. I can't wait to see you win, dog. Oh, amen. I'm going to see you real at the top, top, man. I can't wait to see you win. See, that's what a real nigga wanna see. You don't want to see. He want to see you go all the way to the top, baby. Bust it up. Just boom. It's over. It, it's over. It's up. So what? What? Uh, whenever you have new projects, you're going to come back through and rock out with us? I'm ready. Hey, man, you I'm know, you're at home now. I mean, when you came up. in here, let me let me just Between be real. Now and May, she said the next she one coming, coming out in May, so you might need to come back to release that. Yeah, you need to come through and let everybody know it's about to go down because we going up. It's all keep growing. This thing going bigger than what we ever thought it would go. Uh, well, I'm ready. So, we, I, we, I mean, when you came in, you know, you came into a, the, in the midst of a... I feel a, real. Come on. A real good aura. Come on. I like real it. Good vibe. You always can come here. We've been here. This East Texas thing started. Down there, you eat crab legs. That's I her do. thing, but I do eat them too. I love them. Mm-hmm. You gotta eat laughing crab and Shreveport. I never. Had you gotta that. have Southern Classic and laughing crab. They both from really. Shreveport. That's what, and we gotta go down through there. Yeah, yeah, I gotta go there. Okay. Before we get off this deal here, tell us, give give us your handle. How can people get a hold of you? How can they book you? What can they do? Oh yes, on Instagram you can go and follow me at enjoy her two underscores, or you can just type in Smitty Hawkins. It's gonna bring up enjoy her. Okay. Um, booking you send the bio management DJ Juice and TBR Studios. Uh, email is in there as well. Smitty Hawkins on Facebook. Enjoy her love on Snapchat. Damn. I don't have Twitter right now. I should. Oh, you should. One. You should. You got to be. You know, it's, that's the stage. You got to stand on every stage. There's people in there. You ain't gonna shut the door on nobody that's wanting to hear from Smitty. Yeah, I just. I got. I don't even think I Hawkins. have the password today. <laughs> we got to get back in that thing, man. I'm gonna have to find well, out. Well, we definitely appreciate you for coming on the I show. Thank y'all for having me. And you I and just, Ms. like Jim I said, I, I really, I, I want to get you and your manager just to talk a little bit of how y'all, how y'all linked up, but. I, I mean, I got to talk to this guy too. So let okay. me. But I love to. I love to see people come together because a lot of people don't realize structure, and I've been teaching that to people as and they come on the show. Too. Like it got to be a structure. You can't come up to me and you ain't got your stuff together talking about you this or you that. There has to be a structure. Where your team at? You can't do this by yourself. Mm-hmm. So that, that that's a good thing that I I love to see what y'all doing. Yes, I love it. Yeah, I'm loving it, and I can tell it's very professionally ran. I mean, the brother called me as soon as, you know, I called him, reached out to him with my team, and it went down. So I thank you for coming on the show, thank man. Thank y'all for having me. Man, Smitty Hawkins, man. Come back again. Boss Talk 101. Period. Period.